Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I did a short video on the, uh, the calendar and time uh, and the naming of the planets, the naming of the months, the naming of the days. Uh, they're pretty much all satanic stuff. But this is going to be on Saturn. A little bit of this I knew, but some of this I didn't. And uh, I think it was Awakening. Uh, yeah, you know who you are. Your last comment uh, that had the thing about uh, that book in Amazon that I'm posting on here, it was in spam. I had to unspam it, but I'm glad you uh, posted that and I copied some of the things. I knew Saturn was tied in with uh, some of the mystery religions, but uh, when you start digging in a little bit, it's amazing. Now, I've known about the, uh, well, let's get going. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Saturn was the sixth planet from our sun in our solar system. It was the, uh, from what I understand, the you could barely make it out with the naked eye. Uh, that was about the furthest planet you could see with the naked eye. Saturn is named after the Roman god of harvest and time. The equivalent of the Greek god of time would be Kronos. You ever heard of a chronograph, a timepiece, a clock, a watch, you know, a chronograph? Uh, that's where we get the word. So, just keep that in mind. The God, Roman god of harvest. And of course, Saturn's got rings. But, did you know that Saturn at the North Pole, on its North Pole, has a six-pointed hexagram. At least, that's if you can believe NASA. Uh, supposedly, a NASA satellite went by, took pictures twice, two different times, two different satellites. Uh, I've heard people say, well, NASA means to deceive in the Hebrew. Well, actually, that's not what I've my research has uncovered. And I'm not going to tell you it's wrong, but uh, let's see. Let's take a look at what it means. It's in Strong's Hebrew, 5375. It means to lift. You ever heard when the rockets were going up? There's liftoff. Um, I used to live in Melbourne in Brevard County, the same county that Cape Kennedy, Cape Canaveral is. And um, we were about 20 miles away, and we, oh, we watched so many liftoffs. It was incredible, especially the night ones. I mean, 20 miles away, you could see it clear as day. But uh, uh, NASA means to lift, to bear up, to carry, to take. Uh, support, sustain, endure, to take, take away, carry off, um, to be lifted up, exalted, to be exalted, to lift oneself up, rise up, to be born, to be carried, taken away, carried off, swept away, um, support, aid, to desire, uh, let's see, to cause, to bring, to cause one to bear. Yeah. So what is that six-pointed star thing? Well, uh, I've got some pictures of uh, Saturn's six-pointed hexagon. Now, hexagon is uh, Webster's 1828 says it's a noun. Six points and an angle. In geometry, a figure of six sides and six angles. If the sides and angles are equal, it is a regular hexagon. The cells of the honeycomb, you know, the 
of a bee, the bees, the cells of a honeycomb, are hexagons, and it is remarkable that bees instinctively form their cells of this figure, which fills any given space without any loss of room. So what's a hex or a hexagram? Well, uh, a hex can be a verb to cast a spell on, to bewitch. He hexed her with his fingers or a noun, a magic spell, a curse, a death hex. So why is this, uh, you know, the six-pointed star? Look at the Israeli flag. Look at the star of so-called David, which really isn't. It's really the seal of Solomon. Solomon got into that mess before he died. But um, take a look at the, the uh, how, you know, is it a coincidence that there's a six-pointed star type thing on the North Pole of Saturn? Or is it all faked? I don't know. Does anything NASA ever tell us real? Does that, does, doesn't the government lie to us about everything? Probably. And what about Saturn? Um, how do you spell Saturn? S-A-T-U-R-N. Uh, the spelling's not that far for Satan, right? In Egypt, they had a god... Uh, not the God of the Bible, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they had a, called, a God called Set, sometimes spelled S-A-T or sometimes S-E-T. So Sat, S-A-T, U-R-N. What's an urn? Sat, urn, Saturn, S-A-T, U-R-N. An urn is something that you would put ashes in, right? Something that's been burned up. Uh, consider that. Now, there's going to be a book on Amazon, um, Saturn and the Kabbalah. Uh, that's probably going to be at the end. You could take a look at that. Now, do you know that the uh, Jews wear little cubes on their head? And that is tied in with um, Saturn. And what about the, uh, the Kaaba stone, K-A-B-A, -A, which uh, is in Mecca, which all the Muslims are supposed to make a pilgrimage to go there at least once in their life so that they can circle around the stone. Now, this stone was supposedly made by Abraham and, and Ishmael. Well, I don't think so. The Bible says that Ishmael was... Uh, the Lord rejected Ishmael for being the chosen seed and chose Isaac. Now, the Lord blessed Ishmael, made him a prince, and said he would be the, uh, he would have many princes, and he'd be the father of, you know, a number of nations, which, you know, there's hundreds of millions of Arabs, and there's only a few million Jews so, who did God keep his promise to? Hmm. Uh, don't ask that question in church. But the Kaaba stone, K-A-B-A, -A, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the, uh, the Jews practice a thing called Kabbalah. Kabbalah. But if you look at the spelling, it's basically Kaaba and Allah. And it's almost spelt exactly the same. Kaaba and Allah, Kabbalah. Of course, they'll pronounce it a little different, go Kabbalah. You know, but sometimes I think they mispronounce things on purpose for us just so that we won't make the connections with the uh, words associations. So, and in the Muslim religion, um, now, hold on, the Kabbalah has reference to magic, yeah, you know that thing that Moses said, told the children of Israel, God told Moses to tell Israel, don't have anything to do with that stuff? Yeah, well, that's what they do. But the Muslims have a thing on um, Kabbalah too. Let me, I'll have to, I don't remember, hold on a second. That's right, it's called Sufi, 
Sufism, S-U-F-I-S-M. Uh, you know, you look at it, there's more, there's more to uh, Islam and some aspects of Judaism than you would ever imagine. You know, the Jews wear these little cubes on their heads, and the Kaaba stone in Mecca is a cube. And uh, is it tied in with the hex, the hexagram, the hexagon? Uh, it kind of looks at it, you know. Uh, you look at a hexagon from above, from a 90-degree angle, you see six points. You don't see the backside. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe that's a stretch, but you know. Uh, let's see. What other points was I going to make? All I know is the Jews wear a cube on their head, and the Jews, uh, the Muslims have their Kaaba stone, and Kabbalah, and Sufism. You know, and then there's people that claim that uh, Christians have Kabbalah too, but they're not Christians. They're just they're wiz wizards and witches trying to pretend to be Christians, if you ask me. So, all right, well, I, uh, I've i got uh, those photos of Saturn with the hex, hexagon. And then there's this uh, that book by the um, that Jewish guy about Saturn. Read the table of contents there. I mean, look at it. You know, it's it says... Uh, you know, it's all tied in with the occult. And, uh, you know, I don't like doing these kind of Bible... Well, this isn't really a Bible study. It's just exposing. But what does the Bible say to do? Well, Paul, you know, the, that, that apostle that all those Hebrew roots people hate. Paul, in Ephesians 5.11, he says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness... Well, people, this Sufism, this Saturn, this six-pointed star stuff, the Kabbalah, all this is the unfruitful works of darkness, okay? He says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. Reprove means to expose, but rather reprove them. In other words, prove them wrong. So, you know, and, and, you know, there's churches that have these rabbis come to their, their, their so-called churches and preach behind the pulpit. You're going to have unbelieving heretics tell you about everything to knock down what, that Jesus taught? Really? You know, there's a reason why a certain group of people were kicked out of over a hundred different countries. Uh, is it because they were uh, a bunch of evil people, or was it because they knew stuff that uh, the average person today has no clue? Yeah. You, you, you make your choice. You take a pick. All righty. Well, take a look. Like I say, uh, when you see that Saturn uh, book, Take a look at the table of contents. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is uh, Chaplain Bob. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.